Where there's a hole, there's a goal. And today I'm gonna show you 12 rad trucks from the Lone Star Throwdown 2024. So let's get to it. I've always liked the 64 to 66 C10s and this one is Cherry. It's sitting on 20 inch Raceline Cheyennes. I won't spend much time on it since it's not open, but it has an interior by Mobile Toys Inc. Beautiful paint and a stained oak bed with stainless accessories. We put each truck in separate chapters so you can easily skip the ones you're not interested in. This square body roadster is another great build by Robert and his team at Alamo Customs in Alvin, Texas. It actually debuted at the Lone Star Throwdown last year and was back again. It's sitting on US Mag's initiatives. They use tubs from Hart Fab, Eddie Motorsports billet hood hinges, and flush mount glass from AM Hot Rod Glass, then painted it with PPG refinish. Chris and his guys at Mobile Toys Inc. in College Station, Texas absolutely crushed this interior. Here's another cool C10, a 1965 stepper that was a long bed converted to a short bed with a spare on the side. Inside a bench seat and an old school steering wheel. He still has those dangling chains, gotta love that. This one's bagged with a C-notch frame, dual compressors, and a Chad Chris design manifold. Under the hood, a 92 millimeter intake, aluminum radiator, and CPP master cylinder. Check out this blown first gen Ford F1 Pro street truck. The top's been chopped and it has suicide doors. The exhaust exits the running board and it's tubbed to accommodate the huge meat. It's on a full tube racing chassis with a fuel cell in the back. Here's a look at it opened up. Under the forward tilting hood is a 429 big block with a huge blower set to produce more than a thousand horsepower. Inside a couple of hardback buckets and a Budnick shotgun steering wheel. This is a very nice 1970s C10. I like the trim delete on the 67 to 72s. What do you think? It's rolling on forge line GS1s with wheelwood calipers. Under the hood, an LS with Holly EFI, Eddy Motorsports accessory drive, and CPP master cylinder. I'd love to know how many people Jeremy fooled with this drink on the roof gag. It's a 1970 Chevy C10 built by Trey 5 Customs. Eye Candy Paintworks handled the paint and body. The exterior finish is enhanced and protected by Sweet Patina. These rears are 24 by 15 intro infamous wheels and it has bare brakes with custom Rev B branded calipers and is laying frame. It's sitting on the new Rev B chassis with Viar compressors and AccuAir management. Inside, a complete TMI interior which has a Pro Classic Sport Double D buckets with a buddy seat console, molded door panels with Eddie Motorsports handles, sun visors, and dash pad customized with Morel speakers slinging tunes from a retro manufacturing radio. The dash has Dakota Digital RTX gauges and AC from Resto Mod Air. It has a medium blue Madrid steering wheel and a shifter from American Powertrain. We'll take a better look at the Rev B chassis in a minute, but look under the hood. It's a 5.3 liter stock block from Summit Racing, upgraded with the Summit brand Turbo LS cam, blow-offs, waste gates, and their cast stainless passenger side manifold. This Pro LS turbo manifold is a divided log design, so each waste gate serves each bank from the passenger side for an easy install. The single turbo makes about 18 pounds of boost at 4,000 RPM and trails to about 10 pounds around 6,000 RPMs. It's enough power to break the 16 wides at 45 to 50 miles an hour. That power is routed to a three-pedal six-speed T56 Magnum from American Powertrain. Let's take an up-close look at this new Rev B chassis. So Scott Nelson, who worked for GSI for 20 years recently broke away because he wanted to build chassis that were just next level. He teamed up with a few people and created a CAD designed, laser cut, press broke, CNC form chassis that's MIG welded. Red B also teamed up with AccuAir and their new shock line JRI to get Scott exactly what he needed in a single adjustable shock. Just check out the dimes Derek laid down on this. Two of the main benefits of this Red B chassis besides obvious quality and attention to detail are that it's a bag on bar setup that was designed to give it enough lift to be able to remove 24 inch wheels without having to disassemble the rear. And the other main benefit is that there are channels built inside the frame to run all your wiring and airlines front to back with flush fit access panels. I really wish Scott and his guys the best of luck in their new venture. All right, let's look at a few more trucks. We don't see many of these old Dodges at shows, but this second gen D100 is cool with the camper and the patina. Check out the hood, that's rad. Those are cool handles and it's slammed sitting on these Detroit Steel Ambassadors. Here's a clean 1972 C10 on 20 inch Raceline Cheyennes with Willwood brakes. It's powered by a small block Chevy with Eddy Motorsports V drive, aluminum radiator and Eddy Motorsports hood hinges. Hey, I just noticed that you didn't hit the like button yet. It just takes a second. The body looks straight. The interior was done by Paul G in Fort Worth, Texas with a custom bench and headliner.
His lights are all LEDs with clear lenses. He has a nice wood bed and sliding back glass. This is another one we don't see a ton of, especially the 73 to 75s. Ford F100 den sides are cool. This one's on Cosart Kingpins. Under the hood, it has a Hydratech brake booster, an Edelbrock intake manifold with a Holly Sniper EFI, and a CVF Serpentine setup. The body's clean with a charcoal gray metallic paint. Check out this beautiful deluxe cab Chevrolet Task Force. What do you think, a 55 or 56? It's got a nice stance on the Riddler 695. It has a matching Hortano and big back window. Check out the tailgate, is that gold leaf? It has the fuel fill in the rear fender. It's a pretty truck. Sunset brought some cool trucks to the Lone Star Throwdown 2024, but this one was off the chain. Plymouth was only in the truck game back then from like 1937 to 41 or 42, and this is what I think, based on the headlight mounting location, is a 37. It's got custom paint, metal, a raised bed. I'm digging the fuel tank and the oil can. It's bagged and slammed to the ground, pulling on US Mag's five lug bullets. If you're getting value, consider subscribing. Check out the sound of the motor. I don't know what exhaust he has. It sounds good. All I gotta say is damn son. This is Harvey's Hack Shack sick 1937 Diamond T. It's sitting on an all-wheel drive Yukon chassis. Power comes from a 408 LS with Holly FI spooling twin 78 VS racing turbos mated to a 4L 80E transmission. Harvey Sack Shack just started a YouTube channel a couple of months ago. You gotta check it out. I'll put a link down in the description. The interior is like a race car cockpit. Here's a closer look at his setup. Check out this video next for more badass trucks from the Lone Star Throwdown.